pen should be down. Swap it in the prison the person next to you. Noah, swap with Jamari. With the person next to you, go hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. This is now your paper, so you are going to put up the answer that they put up. You are now going to put up the answer that they put up. Why are you guys having swapped yet? Get ready. Question number one reads, according to the rule book, what was the original purpose of the Firemen of America? Get ready. Get set. You're going to put what your partner put, not what you put. Set. Go. Excellent. If you have four minutes up for D, you are correct. It was to burn English influence books in the colonies. Give them a check if they got it right. Give them an X if they got it wrong. Number two says, what does Montag take from the burning house? Get ready. Go. Excellent. If you have B, a book, you are correct. Give them a check mark if they got it right. Give them an X if they got it wrong. Last question. What happens to this old woman? Get ready. Go. Number three, get ready. Number three on your paper. Which one did you say? Great. If you have three fingers up for C, she sets herself in her house on fire. You are absolutely right. Score out of three. They're either going to get a one out of three, two out of three, three out of three. Pass it back to your person. Pass it back very quickly. Pass it back ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, pass it back. Five, pass it back silently. Four, pass it back. Three, two, and, and, one. One, someone flip the, everybody flip the page. Everybody flip the page. This is an easy grade, it was only three questions, so we shouldn't be talking about it. Excellent. Flip the page, flip the page, flip the page. Can I have somebody read for me? The guiding question. Somebody read for me the guiding question. Al. What do burned books represent in Fahrenheit? Uh, not Fahrenheit 9 11. Fahrenheit 451. So, yesterday, uh, we got to have the opportunity uh, to talk about. Thank you guys for all uh, Yesterday, we looked at a very specific section of the text. Uh, So yesterday, um, we were talking about, what did we talk about yesterday? I don't know what we did yesterday, that's so crazy. Go ahead, David. We talked about uh, how, what Clarice thinks the yep. problem is. We talked about the problem with the community that Clarice had. And we addressed that there was a lack of human connection or a lack of human okay. interaction. Um, and she gave lots of examples about how she felt about school, about how she uh, feels about her community and the violence that impacts her community. Now we're going to take a step back. Today we're going to just talk simply about symbolism and books and what books represent in our novel. Because Bradbury specifically chose to use books for a very specific reason. He could have used anything else, but he decided, hey, let's burn some books. A lot of times authors use symbolism to, uh, as, a, uh, as a way for us as readers to be able to understand more in depth what they're trying to say because there's a bigger picture here. It's not just the fact that they're burning books. There's something deeper that Ray Bradbury wants us to look at. So we're going to try it. So in your paper, um, really quickly before we even start, symbolism is one of our vocab words. Somebody remind me what symbolism is. Symbolism is a vocabulary word. That we learned. What is symbolism? So only three people know our vocabulary word. So if I was to give them a vocab test, we'd all not pass? Yeah. Yeah. Anthony, sorry David. You can talk so much. Tell me. Something that represents something could be a little bit more specific than that. Is it what is the something? Hmm. Okay, that is an example. The flag, well, is it, that's actually the example to say. But tell me, somebody tell me what is symbolism like? If I didn't know what symbolism was, how would you define it for me? Kelsey? Uh, the for a person that represents The something could be, but you're saying something. I don't like that something. The something is something. What is the, that's so weird to say. The something is something. A person or an object that represents? That represents uh, a higher that represents 
No, that represents agriculture. That represents a theme, a big idea, a major idea. In your packet, I gave you guys a symbol. That is the American flag. I'm going to give you two minutes to tell me, well, one minute, what is this object literally, and then what does it symbolize or represent? One minute, on the clock, go, write it.
these books can possibly symbolize. But before we do that, I want to look at that prompt again. What do burned books represent in Fahrenheit 451? Yesterday we talked about attacking the prompt. I want you guys to take a minute, several keywords in that. Guys, question, go. Nice, the sense already has one. David has another. Al has them all. Um, 
all of the symphonies of blazing and burning to bring down, very specifically, look here what he says, the tatters and charcoal ruins of history. Question that I want you guys to answer is, what does Bradbury comp compare the blur on the books to? And that last phrase I just kind of said, what is he comparing the books to? Based off of what I just read to you. Right. Turn to talk to your partner about what is he comparing these bird books to. 